to review one of their boxes. Um, they have something which I believe is new to them. Um, it's a, a new part of what they do and it's called Muse Kits. From the same team at Smart Art Box comes a brand new look. Get Muse Kits. And from what I can see, it's a box. Of, it's, a, it's a good, it's well packaged, okay. And it came in a plastic um, cover, so that was okay. Um, but from what I can see, and all the details will be in the description box below, is that they put together kits that enable you to try different arty crafty things. So what have we got in this one? Um, I said to them, well look, I teach watercolour painting basically, so what can you do? And they said, well we'll send you the appropriate kit. So here it is, oh, very exciting, lovely piece of paper, okay, and a little, little sticker there that you can um, smart art and what it contains is an instruction guide okay an instruction guide giving you steps so let me tell you what it is you've got some very nice I'm looking forward to trying this Fabriano and it's um, eight by eight so that's a nice square size it's cold press it's italian it's 300 grams what's not to like so thank you very much there is also a selection of 12 sketching pencils which i find is curious this one because they've given you very hard pencils they're going up to 6h um, but I guess they have um, a box of pay, uh, 12, 12 pencils, so that's how it is. Okay, so they put in what they want to accordingly. Um, now, this is interesting. We then have um, some watercolour pens. So I'm going to be interested to try these. I haven't used anything like this before, I don't think. Let's get this open. Made in Japan. Clean colour, real brush. Oh, okay. Right. They're giving you a limited range, but you've got enough to play with there. Um, so we'll have a go with those. Then they've given you a set of water brushes. Then they've given you a brush, which I would not say is a watercolour brush, with an eraser on the end. It's... Um, it's a brush, it's a brush. A lollipop. Ooh. A soft eraser. And a waterproof pen. Now, me being a watercolour artist and teacher, um, this is a different take on it. Um, I would have expected a small paint box. But these guys are putting lots of boxes of different things together. So they were not certain stock that will mix and match. But anyway, I'm going to follow the instructions, what they say, and we'll go through it and we'll see how it works. If you hear the odd meow, it's one of my cats wanting attention. Okay, so they tell you about the marker pens there. They tell you about the sketching pens and everything you've got, okay? They're describing them there. And then this is where they give you the steps to go through. So let's follow those steps, shall we? So the first thing is to have a look at these colours. So let's see what they do. Oh. Nice. Now I don't know how long one of these would last but it's got a super point and even when I do that it snaps straight back into its point. What colour that is? I <laughs> Well they call it green, to me it looks like hookers or viridian. But that's interesting. Okay, let's put the top back on. Now we've got something that they call, guess what, carmine red. Okay, again, nice point. 
Now these would be good if you're on the go, I suppose. If you're out and you're a sketchbooker, um, sketchbooking person. That's a, I don't know, sort of orange colour. It's, it's not what it looks like here, but then as we know, printing and the actual thing always look different. And then we have a black. Now they don't have it up there, but no matter. I think I might have liked to have seen some sort of raw umber or something. Purple. Verging on magenta. And a Persian blue. New one on me. Looks a bit like a cobalt. Teetering on ultramarine. Okay, fair enough. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is use one of the water pens. So I've filled up one of the water pens and let's see how these blend. If you haven't used these before they're quite handy especially again if you're out and about and you want something easily portable you just unscrew the barrel and um, fill it with water then encourage it to move. Okay let's see if these will, oh yes that's interesting. So that blends that nicely. Then what they suggest is, if you're not out and about and on the go, is to use a palette. Uh, let's add a bit of blue. see I can see how that would be a good idea um, okay let's let's do something rather fun let's try and do something rather fun let's take oh I know this is rather pretty isn't it a sort of a flower thingy. Right. Now I'm just squeezing water out and just wiping the colour off that. And then we've got this marker pen. Nice, fine. Now this is, it says it's water-based, but it doesn't, um, is it moving a bit there? So you could put your pen mark down first and then you could colour in. Okay. No, this is, no, it's okay. Yep. You can press it down and get a thicker line, but um, always fun to play with water. Pulling it out. Let's use one of the pens. Oh, that was nice. Didn't expect it to flow in to the water blob quite as much. Now, has it taken the colour out? 
Yeah, so so it will take a while for the colour to come back down, having put it in that water. But that's okay, once you know, you know, don't you? Okay, what else have we got to play with? Um, okay, well let's have a go with this brush. You see, it's a very hard... It's not a watercolour uh, brush at all, but no matter, um, it will make interesting marks. It will make interesting marks for pulling out, okay? That's rather fun. Um, we have the eraser, so let's look at the pencils. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Sketch pencil worrisome. They're all wor oh let's try the eight eight B. Mmm. Nice. So let's see how clever this little chap is. If I can get it out of the wrapper. We also have a lollipop. I'll let you know about that. So, what do I reckon? Well, all in all, it's it's a nice little kit. Um, it's a, a fun kit. It's not traditional watercolour colours as I'm sort of used to working with. Um, I I suppose what it is, it's, it's a try it, have a go. If you like it, then you progress and get yourself a little paint box. It would be nice to see if they do do a little watercolour set that has more traditional colours in, um, such as, you know, it'll have some browns in, some raw umbers, um, things like that. But, uh, oh, that's nice, the way that's cauliflowered there. Rather fun. Bloomed. Um, but no, it's what it is. Um, I'll put all the details in the box below. Um, they've done it for a reason and for a price, I'm sure. But thank you very much for letting me try it. I certainly like the paper. I shall enjoy using that. So thank you very much, Muse, um, muse people. And um, thank you, uh, students. Okay, bye now.